Yo, woke episode? <laughs> <laughs> I see a lot of pain behind those eyes. Maybe it's heartbreak. Maybe it's a hangover. Nick and Yurik are just so darn emotional. He's a director. He's a DJ. Bring me <laughs> the feelings. <laughs> are right, you? Do this. I don't think the caffeine's kicked in yet. Yeah. No, I, I I think caf I, I think I've had too much caffeine already. Did you did you have coffee this morning? When I, when I woke up, the moment, no, the the moment I woke up. Don't do that. Why? Because it, we need this caffeine kick to like get us to start talking. If no, you, but if you preempted in the morning. No, but like, if I did not drink coffee, yeah. the moment I woke up, yeah, I would be here at one. No way. Yeah, I would, dude. We meet here at twelve noon. Yeah. Meaning you all you have to do is get up by like eleven fifteen. What? Do you even fucking shower and shit? Fuck showering. Hey, nobody's gonna sm <laughs> nobody can smell you. You're wearing I, a hat. No, I smell myself. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Mm. You swear I, you can swear, I smell, smell like yourself. Leather bound books. <laughs> and, <laughs> and rich, rich mahogany. mahogany. <laughs> I smell Dude. like I smell like sex panther, bro. <laughs> what do you what do you mean? Dude, you can smell yourself? Yeah. I can't smell myself. I love smelling myself. Dude, like sometimes no, like, like I don't smell myself like like odor wise. Mm -hmm. Cause like you know how like you have your own smell. Yeah, I smell like my perfume. I like smelling like my like like no, I like, just took a bath and like honestly like let's say like it, I'm in like Korea or something like mm -hmm. that and it's winter time. Like I don't wear deodorant every day. Yeah, because it's not so hot, so I don't sweat. But sometimes like I'll wear I'll be wearing a jacket and like it's getting a little warm. Then I take off my jacket and I can smell my bo and I'm just like oh my god in Korea what the fuck like anywhere. Anywhere, basically, like sometimes I won't wear deodorant. I don't yeah. wear. I'm not a smelly dude. Yeah. But like sometimes I'll go like a little while without it, and like I'll go on a hike or something like that, and then I take off my jacket. And I'm like, oh lord, dude, do I have no friends? <laughs> <laughs> fuck, where the fuck are my friends? <laughs> How come no one told me? <laughs> but but like, dude, that's the thing. I think friends should be a little bit mean to you. They have to be. I think real friends. Have the license to be mean to you. A real friends should be mean to each other because it's telling them the truth. Yeah. Because me, for yeah. example, um, I never leave house. The, the, I never leave home without putting deodorant on. Every day. Yeah. It's because like when I was a kid, when, when I think when I was like 12, 13, starting puberty, whatever. Dude, some of my friends were like... You fucking stink. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't know if that's friendship or just being kids. I think it's being kids. But like, of course, of course, it's like your closest friends yeah, you, but thank, that you play with. Yeah, but thank God they told you. Imagine yeah. you're going around as a teenager, like, you know, 13 year old, 13, 13 years old, and then like you have that little crush that's coming down the hallway. You're like, oh my God. Dude, Better imagine what? if your crush was the one who told you you stank. Oh, yeah. At least you kept it real. Dude, but like, you, you're not gonna get any of that. No, that would probably scar you for the rest of Dude, your life. Dude, for the rest of your life, you'd probably, you'd probably be an incel and think like, <laughs> fuck women. All they do is hurt my feelings. You know? But No, honestly, That's though. what they do, though. They hurt your feelings. That's what they're supposed to do. It makes it tough, tougher, <laughs> makes for, it the, tougher for, for the, the future. future. <laughs> tougher for the future. Honestly, that's such, such wise words to go by. Yeah. But here's the thing. We're coddling each other now. It's like, you can't be offensive. You can't say the wrong thing for for the fear of like no, getting canceled. That's fine. Yeah, you have to be like that to strangers because that's just common courtesy for human yeah, beings. I get it. But like sometimes if you're doing something dumb, you got to get checked. Right? And it's your friends that should be checking yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I never leave home without deodorant on because when we were kids, like they're like, oh, bajo. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I hope like if I stink, you just let me know. Oh yeah, for yeah, sure. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Like me, I I never stank. You're right. I, I've, for the longest time that I've known you, I've never actually right? smelled it. Yeah, yeah. I've I've never, yeah. never, ever like. I, I'm, I, ha I have like, uh, I'm scarred. I'm I'm traumatized. <laughs> yeah, for a sweaty dude, like uh, yeah, for, you're right? not a smelly dude. Yeah. For a sweaty dude, yeah. I should be like ripe as fuck. Exactly. Like <laughs> every little crevice should be having like its own like, yeah. little odor. Dude. It, 
imagine the shit we wore back then. Like I was wearing puffer jackets and shit <laughs> in the middle You're of le- summer. Leather gloves. Leather gloves. <laughs> dude, leather jackets. I yeah, mean, dude, you were you were on a leather jacket kick for a while, right? Yeah. I, I look like a like a skinhead. Leather jackets with like with your boots. Yeah, with my black Timberland yeah. boots and your black all all black for a year straight. Remember? Oh, right. Black, might wear black for a right, year straight. Right, right. But yeah, I really feel like people. You guys got to be mean to each other. <laughs> no, exactly. Like you know, Mark used no, to not- tell us before. Like every time he would just like hit us. All right. He was just tougher for the future. Tougher for the future. Right. Like he was like our father, but he was. <laughs> yeah. Yo, honestly though, if you could switch lives with anybody in the world, who would it be? Ooh. Like just not. I'm not saying that you're you're gonna be that person. Like oh my god, all of a sudden I'm Bill Cosby or whatever. But <laughs> you're gonna have their <laughs> oh, lifestyle. But dude. you're still Yurik. You're still Yur- DJ Yurik. Oh damn. Probably um one of my one of the comedians that I like. Probably Ooh. like Joe Rogan. Ooh, Joe, Joe, Rogan. Joe Rogan. That's a good choice. Yeah. Make make a lot of money. Just talking. Just talking just shit. Just talking. And be smart and do a lot of drugs. Not a lot of drugs, but like be informed with the drugs that you use. Yeah. And, and like have 90% of your fan base be male. Yeah, dude. And <laughs> and and eat elk all the time <laughs> with a Traeger grill. <laughs> really? Joe Rogan? Like, yeah. I get it. I get it. I get like I just feel like I would totally say you know me. I would totally I say Kanye, Kanye West, West. Yeah. Right? But I don't know if I if it's me being me, still me, Yurik, and then I had Kanye's life. Yeah. And then like I Like you basically like we're gonna take you as you are right now and you in, and insert like, you. Switch. Like and boom, that's yeah. my life. But you're I, still Yurik. Like married, you're, you're married, I'm married to, to Kim. Kim. Kim, yeah. Dude, I I don't think I could handle it. That, that's a lot of that's a that's a that's a lot of baggage right there, dude. I don't think I can handle his life. Look at him, fucking like running for president last week, and then now he co- It's like you're obviously like sick, dude. Like as bad as 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 it hurts me, <laughs> as it pains dude, me. This sounds like this is this sounds like a blasphemy coming from you, right? It pains me to admit that Kanye West is sick in the head. What? <laughs> Real? That's coming from you? Yeah, bro. But I thought Kanye could do no wrong for you. I didn't say it was wrong. Oh. Being sick in the head is not wrong. Yeah. What I'm saying is, you can't be that much of a genius being normal, dude. Yeah. Right? That's true. That's if true. if you're a normal dude, yeah, then you you're just like everybody else. Yeah, yeah. There's no normal dude who's like, boom. I thought of the, the illest fucking verse. Or like, yeah. I, I've, I've thought of a yeah. way to sample beats. Where it's yeah, like, let me put ballerinas on my rap album cover. Right? Yeah. Okay, go. So, so for, why not? So why not Kanye? It's just too much pressure, bro. Too much pressure for what? To be great all the time. That's why he's crazy. Exactly. So I wouldn't want to, uh, me being a chill dude, I, yeah. I wouldn't want that on my life, dude. So yeah. that's why Joe Rogan, chillest dude ever. All he got to do is, Fucking show up to the studio. Talk, talk for two about, hours. Talk, talk for two, three hours about man shit most of the time. About UFC. About hunting. God. About drugs. That's not his topic. Drugs, <laughs> hunting, <laughs> UFC. <laughs> and he gets paid like $30 million a year for that. Yeah. That's whack. That's not whack. That's great, dude. I don't, I don't want that life. And then, and then he, has a, he has a great dog. He has a great life. He has a nice house. Like, it's chill as fuck. I don't want that life. I don't need that life. What, what, what do you who who would you um, trade lives with? John Mayer, in a second. <laughs> John. Oh, Mayer. that's a good choice. Yeah, man, because he's legit on so many levels. That's a as good a musician, choice. I, as a singer, as like a fashioner, somebody who likes I, watches I, and shit. I change. I change my. I what's, change, what's your I answer? Change, I change my answer. But let's let's dwell on no, John Mayer. John for a Mayer. Bit. Okay. Yeah. Style God. Style God. Right. Vis not not Vim, just, not just on the American Vim level, uh, but on the Japanese oh, international yeah. level, yeah. Because he's the Visvim patron. Yes, and then he's like he's like the patron saint of Visvim. Yeah, and then like he's a musical genius. Mm-hmm. He can play the guitar better than ninety nine point nine percent of people okay, in the world. That part I don't give a fuck about. I don't. don't. Just but to yeah, be just yeah, to be but just but to be in the it, upper echelon it, of anything in the world. You're, you're but like not legendary. only that, I mean, he's he he's he's a singer. And he's not the best singer in the world, but fuck, man, he can write a song. And make millions right. off of it. Do you know that? Do you know how much? 
you know how like he's so respected in the international fashion world of yeah. like streetwear. You know, and what level he's also that much respected on watches. Really, dude. He's a he's a watch guy. He's, he's a watch like he can shift the values of watches. No way. Yes way. Like he's a he's a Jay Z of watches. He is. Yep. You, you know you know how you know how Jay Z like um, devalued the X five. Oh. Did you ever, did you ever, mm. did you ever hear, hear about that? No. Back in the day? No. Dude, he had a line in one of his like early albums. We give X5s to baby mamas. Dude. The, oh. The, the X5. It became like, this, like a soccer yeah, mom car. Yeah. The, the, the sales of the X5 dipped, I think. Yo, he can. Jay-Z. So like, he's, he's that for watches? Yeah, he's that for watches. Like he has, there's this show, uh, there's this online show called uh, Hodinki, like uh, on yeah. YouTube. And like he guess he's a guest writer for it. He'll let's straight up legit like an article, just like so. This is my one week experience with this, and he doesn't even mention it. Like I'm John Mayer, but it just says by John Mayer, and then like so he's a culture dude. That's dude, he's a culture sick. shifter. Like that's so, sick. he they did this thing. They feature him like they feature him twice. Like oh, just let me show off my watch collection. So he just talks about watches. He doesn't even talk about being famous. He talk, he yeah. nerds out on watches. And there's this one watch where there was like I forget what it was, some dinky ass Rolex like that wasn't even valuable or whatever. Like, it was green, and the then Hulk? he showed. You know, it wasn't even the Hulk. It was like yeah. this ridiculous way. He's just like, sometimes I just buying watches because I think they're lonely <laughs> or, like, <laughs> or because nobody's buying it. So uh, he bought it and he had it. And like, dude, the value of that watch went up like, like Damn, in the next couple dope. of months. That's pretty dope. Yeah. That's pretty dope. So, and not only that, <clears throat> list off the girlfriends, the ex-girlfriends. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, Katy Perry, and then yeah. Minka Kelly. Kelly again? Friday Night Lights. Oh! Yes! Wow. Minka Kelly. Damn, dude. What whatever happened to Minka Kelly? I don't know, but John Mayer hit that. Damn. And then John Mayer pioneered this whole, like, let me buy a plot of land in the middle of nowhere, Montana. And Wyoming. Then, yeah, exactly. So <laughs> yeah, years, yeah. a couple two years later, Wyoming. Okay. For Kanye. Okay. John Mayer. Bow down. That's, that's a that's a good, that's a good um, Yeah. And he's still fucking that's cool, and he's fucking like forty-two years old, and that's he's still choice. awesome. That's yeah. a good choice. Fuck, that's a good choice. See, Would you, you like to? You, you've you've obviously thought I've about always it. Thought about this because I, this okay, is like you, you caught me off guard, off the top of my head. It's yeah, Joe because Rogan. it's just so, so chill. Yeah, honestly, ask ask like the majority of the people who are listening to this if they're anything like us. Like, dude, would you rather be Joe Rogan or John May? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Joe Rogan doesn't even <laughs> doesn't even like know how to dress, bro. Yeah, he, he's like wearing he has a bunch of affliction shirts. Although, dude, for me, yeah, I'm I'm changing my I'm changing my um, Yo, change your answer. My answer. You know who I you know who I wanted to switch lives with? Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you're Justin Timberlake, <laughs> dude. I want to switch lives with. Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill? Yeah, bro. He's it's pretty cool. He's got Dude, cred. Style God. Yeah, style God. Super style God. Fuck, man. Like, I've wanted to pull off this look that he that he <laughs> rocked, wearing a Phoenix Suns jersey. Yeah. Tucked in into like a pair of slacks. <laughs> Khaki. Sleeveless. <laughs> <laughs> dude you could totally pull that I, off i could you could but i'm like i don't have the confidence and you oh, know dude. and you know me dude like you're like the king of confidence I'm, I'm like the king of confidence like some would say <laughs> i have overconfidence but how can you not pull that off i'm gonna one of these days you I'm, should. Gonna, I'm gonna i'm gonna if ed tucked in and he has a belt <laughs> if cousin Cass can pull off my mom chandelier sweater <laughs> God. Let's flash that picture right here, the chandelier sweater back in 2008, I don't think 2009. I, do you have a photo I, of it? I have, I have, have a photo one? of All it. Right. To the club? Yeah. You can definitely That's do the, the mom chandelier shirt. The mom chandelier shirt. That was that was pretty baller. That was, pretty, that was baller. That was baller. Like, but like I thought I was brave with my David Copperfield shirt. <laughs> Dude, um Jonah Hill, style god. Yeah. Um, about to release a sneaker with Adidas. That's true. Um Patron of Palace. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of I'm a, Palace. I'm a big fan of Palace. So Superstar got and well respected actor. That's true. And he and he did it not by looking good. You know? He he he's not Ryan Gosling, who's just like one character. Yeah. You're right. He has he does have acting chops. Yeah, he, he has acting yeah. chops. He could play the nerd, he could play the he could play the nerd. The sidekick. He could play the sidekick. He could play the the 
um, sex starved teenager, <laughs> <laughs> which launched his career. Dude, like, it, it's, it's just so funny. One of his lines is like, You scratch our back, we scratch yours. So the thing about my, <laughs> my back is, it's in my cock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, that's fucking improvised. No, no one writes a line like that because like it's so cheap. You know, it's like, <laughs> and you know, that's pull it off. So, yeah. So, Style God, we have a thing for Style Gods. Yeah, that's like, true. Style God, and he can pull, and he can pull it off. Probably yeah. has millions of dollars in the bank. Style God, millionaire. And I bet he gets yeah, 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 mad definitely. puss. Oh, for sure. Just by. Dude, you could be the ugliest dude. If you're semi famous, you can, you can pull it in. That's true. Shall we name some names? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, the cool thing about Jonah Hill is like with his with his, him him being a style god, it's like it's not like he tried. He didn't even try, it just came naturally. It was so organic. He just started wearing whatever yeah. the hell he wanted yeah. to. I, wore and, it with and, confidence. And, and I think he just started like, oh, I just want to wear palace. And he just started wearing palace all the time until yeah. palace like gave him the the, the, <laughs> gave, nod, him the, keys, the gave him the keys the, to the city. Acknowledgement. <laughs> gave him the keys to the city, basically. You're legit. See that that's why for me he's a good choice too because it's not an obvious choice. That's true. And you that's know you know us choice. we like to be hipsters. So <laughs> I I I kind of feel gross about picking Joe Rogan. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I, get I, I, I seriously that when you said Joe Rogan I was yeah. like, dude, you're way into po- too much into podcasts, man. I am, I am. Like he's. I, I told you to start this. That's why. Yeah, exactly. I'm yeah, all I, about I, the pods. I get it. I get it. I'm all about the pods. Like he's big on the podcast world. He's probably the number one guy in the podcast yeah. world. He's like, and he's probably the number one guy in the MMA uh, sports analysis world. He's probably the number one guy in the hunting world. <laughs> and, also in the, and also in the psilocybin mushroom world. <laughs> yeah, so are those the, the, the worlds that you want to be the top the top dog in? No, and he's not a good looking dude either. He's probably pushing 50. But he's funny as fuck though. He's f- Did you know that John Mayer branched off a little bit into a stand-up comedy career? It was terrible, but he tried. <laughs> so I'll, I'll give him that. You tried. You tried. But like, what's your, what's your thoughts about staying in your lane? Eh. You know. What the fuck is eh? <laughs> it's all right? Whatever. You stay in your lane. You veer out of it. And you come back in. Like, I don't think that there's like, there's one set mindset where like, fuck the lane. I'm going to be out of it all the time. That's just tiring. Like uh, using using metaphors of driving, I think if you're gonna switch lanes, right, you have to know you have to be knowledgeable in driving enough to switch into another lane. Because imagine this: if you're some fucking dumbass driver who's got his license just by paying off the LTO, you know, and then you don't know how to switch lanes, you don't know how to drive, you 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 have no knowledge of like defensive driving or like proper driving. You're gonna fuck someone's like lane up. You're gonna you're, you're gonna mess someone's life up. Okay. So it's it's the same in real life. For example, you're an artista, right? Yeah. Cool. You made your career, and you're bored, and you're bored with it because like you're doing good, and then all of a sudden, a a whole lane rises, and it's like, oh, it's so popular. This is coming from experience, <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you who it is, right? All of a sudden, you want to switch lanes and do that. Cool. Yeah. But is this is have, is this a, a long term metaphor for like all these people wanting to be DJs? Oh yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And I have no problem if you want to be a DJ, right? But be a fucking good DJ. Not even good, because like you have to start somewhere. Yeah. You you have to have respect for the lane for the craft to veer into it. You got to know. You got to know how to switch properly. You got to respect that lane. And switch accordingly. So for me, speaking from experience, DJing, fucking like this motherfucker, Sam Milby, <laughs> like fucking, I had, there was this, there was this um, party once that I, I got hired to DJ. I think yeah. it was like um, Raymond Gutierrez's party. Oh no, Liz, Liz's party? I'm not sure. Anyway. Yeah. A celebrity party. Yeah. In Robot, bro. Uh, oh, Remember dude, Robot? Long time ago. Long time yeah. ago. And then he got hired to DJ as well. Yeah. And then he was DJing early on. And then did he, take, did he play all the hits? All the hits. Did he play uh I got a feeling? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> all the hits. Did he play like three times? No. But like he played all the hits. For an opening set. For an opening set, right? Which is sacrilege in uh yep. in the DJ world. But he didn't know. Yeah. Cause in his head he was, I'm Sam Milby. I'm gonna veer into this lane. I'm fucking Sam Milby. 
which don't matter to me yeah. because you're in my lane, right? Okay. So, and I don't care if he sees this. Yeah. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. But like, he's really good at figure skating, though. That's why I'm not going to veer into figure to- skating. You should totally veer into that lane <laughs> and bump him off and, and be like, like, "Listen up, Sam. Listen up, son." <laughs> Give him the fucking elbow. You're like triple axle this motherfucker. Right? So I mean all respect to him, but like um that that time played all the hits and I was literally like, all right, cool. Eventually the the guests were complaining to me. They're like, yo, can you can you switch out already? It's kind of killing the vibe. That's kind of an insult. And, yeah. You know, to kick him out. And me, at this point he has his he has his shirt off already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I came up to him, I was like, I was setting up. Yeah. I was just setting up, dude. Literally, just setting up. He goes up to me and says, like, I'm not done yet. I'm like, oh, you bitch. <laughs> and then what did you say? You, you punched him in the chin? No, I don't know. Like, literally, I ended his DJ career that night. <laughs> no, but like, he's like, I'm not done yet. I'm like, I, I was setting up, dude. You should have said, yes, you are. Unplugged it. Yeah, but I'm not rude. I'm not a rude guy. Yeah. They had to, like, go up to him and be like, yo, come drink with us now. Like, whatever. Oh, that's a, that's a, fr- the, the, yeah, the, the, the friend hook. Yeah, the friend hook. Like, yo, stop like, DJing. Let, let, let Yurik do it. Let Yurik do it. And then when I did it, obviously killed the set. Yeah. Like, girls are dancing, like, standing on tables and shit. Ended his career there. So, for me, it's like. Was he standing on the tables, too, with his shirt off doing yeah. this? Probably. Doing a fucking triple axle. Yeah. The <laughs> on the, on, <laughs> just, just imagine that fucking, that fucking thing. But like, yeah, I mean, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at him. Yeah. Or whatever. But it's, it's just that instance. Just that example. He we, probably didn't know. He probably meant no offense. Like, if, if he's listening, he probably won't. But if, <laughs> but if somehow one of your fucking dumbass fans comes across this clip. And says, oh, Sam Milby, this guy's talking shit about you. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, you know, just hop onto like the, hit up the ice skating rinks. And when you see him. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then just like, tri- just like get in his way. Where When he's about to <laughs> jump into this triple sal cow, double <laughs> axle combination, just jump right in the middle of it. And he's like, yo, what are you doing? But like, bro, I'm not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking so, about. So my plan is go to SM Mega Mall. Yeah. And just sit there and, and stay and there wait, and, and wait. wait until that day that Sam dusts off his his <laughs> blades. Yeah. And I'll be like, this is it. Blades of glory. Blades of glory. This is it. But yeah. How do you even get to the lane talking again? I don't know. Staying in your lane. How I, don't, do you... I don't know. Because we were talking about Jonah Hill. Joe Rogan. John Mayer trying to be a comedian he just tried it yeah he tried he tried yeah it's not like he tried to make any money off it yeah yeah it's see there's no i said like i said there's nothing wrong with trying yeah like us trying to get into this podcasting world yeah but at least we did our research it's not like yeah. we have like we went out there and said like it's not like I have something it's to not say. like i went out there and then you're nick let's record on our laptop mics look at these things look at we spent money on these arms yeah, i told you to get i told you to get matching fucking yeah. Mics <laughs> that we shouldn't have gotten. <laughs> but it works. It's a mic. It, it works. It works. Mike's a mic. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> but, but. It's not whatever, but still. It's whatever. But like, yeah, we, we did the research, the prior research, and like we're trying it out. Yeah. So. And we're not, we're not running over anyone's lane because the lane is wide open. There's, there's not a lot of people yeah, in it. Not a lot of people in it. And we're, a- sh- and we're shouting out our, our pod, pod gods, <laughs> you know? But yeah. Speaking of switching lanes, man, would you, if you had a choice, right, mm-hmm. and God was like, Yurik, I want to give you a gift, but you have to choose one. This is, wait, in this, in this metaphoric um, world, God is real. Ooh. God is real. God is real. <laughs> He's All real. Right, go, go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> and then he says to you, Yurik, you have to choose one thing. Would you rather? Yurik, <laughs> there's some pain behind those eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep going, keep going. Sorry, interrupt. Sorry to interrupt. I'm God, gonna give you. Would you rather be able to play an instrument well or dance really well? Ooh, fuck. What would you rather be? What would you rather have? Any instrument. Any instrument. One instrument. It's not like you. You can't be it's, like. It's not like I'm a savant. Yeah, you can't be like Charlie Puth or whatever. <laughs> Good. I mean, Dude, I, I wouldn't mean, mind being Charlie Puth. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if he was the only choice, yeah, fuck it. Anyway, go. But if Jonah Hill was there. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be Jonah Hill or Charlie Puth? Jonah Hill, bro. Charlie Puth. Jonah Hill, definitely. Anyway, dancer. Anyway. Fuck, man. Really good dancer, one style. Because <laughs> you can't, because you can't be like I want to. I'm good at dancing everything. Like if you choose crumping, you're the best crumper in the world, <laughs> and that's it. Like, like if you, when crumping, you're like. Mm, mm. If, if you choose, but like, but when, but when you get to the club and you're dancing with the girls, you can only crump. <laughs> <laughs> like you can't, like you can't even slow dance. You can't slow dance. So when you're slow dancing, you're. <laughs> <laughs> but damn, you're a good crumper. <laughs> I don't even. Oh, that hurt my back. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck okay I think I'd rather be a good musician what instrument drums really a good drummer yeah. like like I, Travis Barker bro uh, Travis Barker bro yeah that's true Dang. yeah that's true also also there's more there's more star potential if you're a good musician. Yeah, of course. That's that's what I'm getting. I, I totally agree with you. And and that's what I've been thinking about this. I th- I feel like dancers so fucking underrated. So underrated. Like the the ratio of like skill to recognition, it's so underrated like it's so hard to be a good dancer Yo, dude. I, i'm gonna put it this way like shout out shout out to the dancers out there yeah i love you dancers i love dancing and all that shit i love dancing i love this. watching dancing all right let's say because my answer is a musician by far by far not even but not even like i want to be the best fucking piano player in the world you know why why because if you can write piano if you can play the, the best piano player you're the best pa- you can write songs Mm. If you write songs, no, but but in your in your question, you're only good at one thing. You're not you're not you're not hey. gonna be a songwriter. Nope. No. But you, hey, you said one hey. instrument. One instrument. I'm still using my brain to write the songs. It means I can trans I can transcribe right, that. Fine, fine, fine. And then yeah. like like you know reprogram my piano to sound like a bass, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like Charlie like Charlie Puth. <laughs> and so if you write a song right, yeah. and then you sell it to somebody, and you don't even have to be the singer for it. You get residuals on that for, right. for the rest of time. Right. If you're a dancer and you make a choreography like the fucking Tusi slide, we even named it after Tusi, right? It's not like he's getting residuals on that. For every time they play that song or do the dance, it's not like he's getting money from it. No, even if like they, somebody can take that dance Dude. and dance it on TV, yeah, and nobody's gonna be like, oh my god, that's a copyright violation. Just, just like um, how TikTokers steal dances. <laughs> But like, yeah, I get it. I get it. I you know get what it. I mean? So totally robbed but of their creative, like, like creations. Why is that though? Like, why are they so un- undervalued, I think? Because I think it's more tiring to be a good dancer than to be a good musician. Hell yeah. Right? Hell yeah. And, and you, you, you've had a band. You've been in a band. Yeah. Like, you, you're the singer of the band. Do you know how to play the guitar? Yeah, you, I played yeah. the guitar when I was in yeah, the band. In the yeah. band. Was it, terrible. It's it's tiring to be performing, right? Yeah. It is. But imagine like you're a, da- a the backup dancer for the concert. Yo, let me put it this way, right? I've done like a set, yeah, as a uh, as a lead singer of a band for like an hour, yeah. And I've also danced. You could dance for like ten minutes and be more tired than that <laughs> than oh, that dude. singer for performing for like an hour and a half. Fuck, man. I remember. <laughs> I remember this one time in Fiamma. Mm-hmm. Like, I danced so hard. <laughs> Dude, I remember this. This is the only time. Like, I'd like to think, like, my body back in the day. I mean, I was fat. I was overweight. But I'd like to think, like, my body was kind of like, I don't have allergies. Yeah. I'm not. You're like, in good health. I was, I was, I was, I was yeah. okay. I, I played football. Yeah. You know, I was, I was a good um, O-line. Yeah. You know. But during this fucking short ass fucking like 30 second, I, I think it was even like 20 seconds of dancing. <laughs> when I stopped dancing, dude, like my fucking vision started <laughs> blacking blur. out. <laughs> Not blur, bro. Blacking out. Like I, like I, I lost my breath. I was going to pass out because I danced so hard. 
<laughs> were, were you crumping? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there's no da- there's no dance out there that's as physically draining as crumping. Were you there when we made up that stupid game? Oh, the crump or die, crump or die. Yeah, yeah, we, we made it. We up. made that up. Yeah. Crump- so basically, kids, <laughs> this is a great game to play. <laughs> Please if you try it at die, home. <laughs> try it at home. It's called crump or die. Basically, oh you play some music, right? Play some some hi- some hyphy, something hyphy. Something. What, what was a crump song that they used? To, oh, um, fix up, look sharp. Fix up, look sharp. Is, is that was that? A, no, I remember we sang it. I remember people crumping to um, Chris Brown. For which song? <laughs> Let me talk to you. That, that's his, his uh, run, run it. See you can run it, run it. His first song. Was it run it? Yeah, that was his first song, right? That his first song was Excuse Me, Miss. Oh, it was run it. You didn't. You didn't. Is your man on the floor? Yeah, yeah. You can see me run it, run yeah, it. Yeah, I, I right, anyway, dancing with anyway, uh, anyway, so you play a, a hyphy song, something real hype, and you and your friends get in a circle and just start crumping, right? <laughs> just <laughs> crump, like, with your fucking yeah. emotion. Yeah, so everyone crumps at the same time. And then, obviously, you're going to get tired. Right? First one to first one, uh, stop dancing. If you stop dancing, you have to take a shot. Yep. And as soon as you finish that shot, you got to start dancing yep. again. Basically, the first one to give up. The first one to die, basically. <laughs> the first one to die. <laughs> That's why it's called Crump or Die. Crump or Die. <laughs> and it's the stupidest game, and it'll last two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. I told you, I was crumping for a whole 20 seconds, and I almost died. Why were you crumping in the first place? Because that's what we did. That's true. That's what we did. Dance whatever dance. Yeah. And, th- and back, back then, the... The popular dances were crumpy. It, it's not. It's not no chill dance like the, the whoa, <laughs> the whoa. or the nay nay <laughs> or the, it, the folks. It's like now it wasn't. It wasn't. It, it's not. <laughs> oh God! We're back on. <laughs> but you know, it's like that's what we did back then, and I don't. I I advise people to not crump. It's hard. It's hard. Hard. You got to be in shape to crump. Yep. Like. So, going back to dancers, it's totally underrated. Super underrated. Like, for example, like this. Name three of your favorite dancers. Oh, I have one. I have, I have, I have one really good one Who? that I really like. Kida. Kida the Great. Yeah, Kida. Kida Great. Yeah. Kida the Great. That's it. That's, that's all I know. <laughs> Kida the Great. Kida's good, though. Oh, Kida the Great. Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> big jump. Big jump. But Chris Brown wasn't known for his dancing. He was known for... Dancing and his singing. My favorite three dancers. All right, go. Kita the Great. He just copied my Kita the Great. <laughs> <fucker>. <laughs> All right. I'll go. He's, he's dope, though. Um, Ken Johns. <laughs> <laughs> and Mikhail Brzezhnikov. <laughs> I don't know. No, whatever. My, my, I, can name, I can name a lot of my dancers. My favorite three dancers. Kita the Great. Um, Chris Brown. <laughs> And Charlie D'Amelio from TikTok. <laughs> Who's that guy? I was like, dude, the, the, the most famous, the f- most famous girl on TikTok. Oh, yeah, that, that Charlie. That, the, and, and she's fucking sixteen, dude. Oh, she's sixteen. Yeah, yeah. Chris Delia. <laughs> it's Delia. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, underserved, underserved, um, underserved segment of the arts. What is the greatest? Uh, dance battle you've ever seen at the club? Oh, dude, Brent and Jason. <laughs> yes, that's the only dance that's the battle. That's the only dance. Who has a video of that? Uh, nobody has a video. It's just this thing, this dance battle that we have it's in lore. It's just a thing that we're going to cherish in our minds. In our minds, and we'll pass it down to generation to generation. You, you, you know, the next, the next dance number after that yeah. was, remember when they... Asap carried oh, Janelle. Janelle. <laughs> Janelle on her birthday. And we fed and her cake. And then someone was feeding her cake. <laughs> we Boston. have a photo of that. We have a photo. Please, please. Flash it. Flash. Right here. It was, uh, it, was, it was our friend Janelle. It was her birthday. Shout out Janelle. Shout out Janelle. We haven't seen you in like a long, long, long time. Oh, but God. it was her birthday. I, I don't think she would appreciate 
I suppose. Oh, uh, no, no, whatever. no. It's, it's, it's in memories. public domain. It's public domain. And it's in public domain. So <laughs> it was her birthday, and we wanted to make her feel special. So we decided to give her her own uh, ASAP ASAP dance uh, number. moment. Moment. So aside from dancing in a circle around her, we, f- we topped it off by picking her up like she this. Was, she was in a <laughs> crucifix <laughs> pose. <laughs> we picked her up like this and spun her in a circle. And while we were speaking in a circle, somebody was feeding her chocolate cake. <laughs> and then there's this one video where she doesn't look like she's having the time she's of her life. The worst time of her life. <laughs> it looks like she's being, it's some medieval torture device. <laughs> oh, God. It's, it's even worse. It's just like she's, her, and her entire weight is braced up by her armpits. <laughs> and, and what makes it worse is it's, it's chocolate cake. It's so chocolate it's like cake. Her and mouth is over, black. It looks like she's eating a. A handful of dude. shit. It's gross. It's, it, but it's fucking hilarious. Oh my god, memories. See, dude. Okay, let's move on to a next topic. How turned were we back then? Like, we were so fucking turned in the clubs. Like, oh god. Now, it's just like, oh, you're turned, but it's still cool. Uh, it's, it's still, yeah. Because here, you know, everybody, it's there's, still cool. you know what it is. There's so much, so much social media nowadays. But ah, if somebody gets right. turned, cameras are going to come up and it's going to be posted from six different angles and the guy is going to be like, oh my God. I shouldn't have done that. But let me argue this. Now, social media photos, it's, it's basically very prevalent and it's, and it's just there. It's yeah. ubiquitous. It's like, oh, 10 photos from yeah. one night. Yeah. Girls take 20 selfies. Yeah. For, right? So don't you think like it, we get more desensitized to... To getting taken uh, to, to our photo getting t- uh, taken, as compared to before, yeah, we 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 didn't use camera phones. It was the club photographer who had photos of us. So if we did have a photo, it 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 it, it should be dope. So like, but we didn't care back then. We had the dumbest photos. We did, but we also had power of the album. <laughs> if there was <laughs> a photo true. we didn't like, we would just take, take, it, take down. it down. Take yeah, it down. take it down. That's true. But people here, so people are so self aware. They don't want to look dumb. They don't want to look stupid yeah. because everybody will know. Dude, looking stupid is amazing. Amazing. Like I, I have, I have, I have a photo from Cam Sur of me, like wearing a fucking bikini top, and I was drunk, and it's like so dumb. Remember how we used to always dress alike all the time? Yeah, we would get matching bandanas <laughs> yeah. and it's, wear them in creative ways. Yeah, it's the dumbest thing. It's so stupid, but it was so much fun. I mean, being so stupid is so fun, dude. Honestly. Being cool is overrated. Being cool is so much work. <laughs> oh, dude. Dude. I would have gotten here at 11.30 if I didn't plan my outfit. Oh, my God. You planned that outfit? Right? And, we're, and no, one's, no one's even seeing my shorts and my fucking Comme de Garçon sneakers. You look like Bill Belichick right now. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? And then it's so much effort. Took me like 45 minutes to put this effortless outfit together. Oh, being cool is so much work. So much work. It's just so much easier to be stupid. Like, fuck. I gotta give credit to my work. Flash my sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> Come to Garçons. <laughs> what about them socks? Fit high, check. High socks. High socks all the time. E- even when I'm wearing pants. High socks all the time. Speaking of socks. Yeah. I'm fascinated about how trends come and go yeah. and how me myself are influenced are is myself is is influenced by trends right yeah remember we used to wear black shoes all the time yeah it's all like oh i never i used to think white shoes sucked like it's like what are you a nurse you know when when we were hanging out like um fiamma days we had like Black shoes and yeah. Supras, whatever. Yeah, I never had Supras. Supras. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> oh, <going> on. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that, that lasted a while. <laughs> what a classic. <laughs> Dude, but, 10 years from now, it's going to come back. Be like, yo, these are vintage Supras from 2011. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Same way dunks are back. Yeah. But like, there, there was a point where it changed for me. And it's like, now I exclusively wear white shoes. Because you're a white supremacist. That's why. <laughs> you racist motherfucker. I was, I was also a white supremacist when I, when I had 
my hair, my, my head was bald. I was wearing cuff, yeah. cuff oh, jeans. Yeah. Dude, you're a neo-Nazi face? Yeah, right? Oh my God, let's flash a picture of you as yeah. a neo-Nazi. I, I hope we can find one. Like my, Dude, my, my, my whole, my whole cuff, cuff jeans, yeah. black combat boots. Oh yeah. No, we right? definitely have those. Like I, I remember Mark calling me out. What are you, a neo-Nazi? <laughs> I'm like, oh, what? I didn't even know that what was, a neo-Nazi looked like. Yeah, but that was your uh, wear all black for might wear black for a whole year. For straight. a whole year, yeah. That was because Jay Z totally he <laughs> so commanded. Like, He's like, so like, you're like, wear black for a year straight. My my in my in my view, uh -huh. in my view myself, like when I see sneakers that aren't white, it's like it doesn't it doesn't give me happiness. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> well, it doesn't spark joy. Doesn't spark joy. Yeah, but like when I see myself wearing. Wearing um, white sneakers, I'm like, ooh, that's that's fire, that's a fire fit, and I'm kind of annoyed at myself for being for being so swayed. Yeah, like it's so it's so iffy. I'm so like, um, what's the fleeting? It's so fleeting. Like my style choices. That's how it is with everybody. But why though? How how does it happen though? It, at one point, at one point, like, um, skinny jeans are the shit, and like. Proportionally, like if you study it, proportionally it looks nice. Yeah, you know, it makes you look tall. It makes you look tall. Yeah. It makes you look slim. Whatever. Yeah. But then now, baggy jeans are back in. Yeah. If if, you, if, you, if you're wearing like skinny ass jeans, it's like oh, <laughs> so two thousand and late. <laughs> you know, it's like I love it how we quote Fergie all the time <laughs> <laughs> when we talk about something old. Yeah, but like, right? It and it influences like my physical view of it. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. It's just weird to Fuck me. Fuck that. Whatever. Just wear what you dig. Who cares? No, I I do that now. I do that now. I remember getting made fun of. Yeah. Cause I cause I started wearing short shorts like mm -hmm. above the knee shorts, and then high socks. Yeah. And white sneakers, right? Dude, fucking, they would clown me. Like, um, shout out to Boys Night Out. They would they would totally like clown me on on the radio, like on on air. Yeah. They'd be like, oh, you you pick pick shorts. DJ Yurikian, but whatever. Like Dude. They, they were clowny. But then, but then, like fucking two years later, Kanye West comes out with this photo on Twitter where he's wearing high socks, Yeezys, like short ass black black Patagonia shorts and a hoodie. And like, that's my fit. I'm not saying Kanye West bit me, but That's how it but that's how it is to be a trailblazer. You as, know? A, as somebody who, who goes out and sets the tone and creates it, you have to, you have to you take a lot of shit thrown your yeah. way. You know, I remember, be, here, I remember back, back, this was like, I seared into my mind. Remember when Avicii came here? Yeah. Right? When Avicii came here and his song, his fucking Levels. Levels. Was like the fire song and like everybody was on it, like the crowd would go crazy. Yeah. He came here, he played all of his hits within the first hour and a half. It was like Levels, um... Wake me up. Not even wake no, me up when he, it's over. He, um, or, fade into darkness. Yeah, fade into darkness. Yeah. And then, so he played He played a four-hour set. Yeah. Props to Avicii, man. He played a long-ass set. He, <clears throat> within the second or third hour, he played uh, Wake Me Up When It's All Over. And it yeah. has a banjo background, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, right, right. And like, this was, EDM was all the red, do, 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 drops, beats, whatever. And obviously he plays this with the banjo in it. And then a crowd died. Legit died. Yeah. Like, hmm? And I could see people leaving. Like people were walking out. They were like, like eh, what the fuck is he playing? What the hell is this? Lo and behold, three or four months later, it's the hottest song. Up when it's it's yeah. up. Like, that's just how it is, man. You gotta take the bumps, you gotta take the scratches. Yeah, same, gotta... same same with Old Town Road. Like oh, yeah. the whole country trap yeah. thing. Yeah. Now like you could you could you could hear um trap songs have like Guitars in it, like yeah, fucking sounding. Diplo's a, a country star. Oh yeah, now. Diplo has like a country album. I think, yeah, he's coming out with a country album, and he yeah. wears cowboy hats, and, and it's dope. But like, see, I'm I'm just fascinated with it. It's like back in the day, like we wore the dumbest things because yeah. because we wanted to peacock. Yeah, we want to be the center of attention. We want people like, yo, you're stupid. But. It's like you're stupid, but I'm staring yeah. at you because you're stupid. Yeah. But I'm still staring at you. Yeah, you know. Now it's like, I, f I think I fell victim into like, oh, I want to look cool. Because yeah, you guys left me. <laughs> we, we, got, we, we, we all got married. Yeah, you all got married, wifed up, kids. Yeah. And then I'm the, I'm the last one. You're the last, ba last standing bastion of, of uh, daylight. Yeah. <laughs> the last ray. Last ray of The hope. last ray of light. Right? So, and then now it's just like, I don't give a fuck anymore. Well, that's how it should be. 
Way to grow up. Way to grow up, Yurik. It's a cycle. It is a cycle. Cycle. Now, now I'm like, I don't care. I'll wear whatever. Yeah, you should always just wear whatever. I'll wear, I'll wear fucking um, a sh- long sleeve shirt under 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 a Bill Belichick sweater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> under a football coach sweater. <laughs> under cut off sweater. But that's what you should do, man. You got to pass it down to the next generation. Inspire them. You next. got you got to teach them to not care. That's true. And I think it's gonna happen. It's because like we social media. We want we we're so like we we keep caring about. How we appear yeah. to the point where you get tired and it's like, yo, fuck it, whatever. Yeah, it happens to everybody, dude. Like, like you know those those guys that like round two, right? Yeah. Like those guys at round two, like they have access to every cool piece of clothing yep. in existence. Like it's all in their stores. They can just grab yeah. it off the shelves anytime like sneakers, they want. Sneakers, sneakers, like whatever. Shirts, whatever. If you watch interviews with those guys, if you actually look at what they wear, they wear like the raggediest shit. Like they don't even wear like this. They don't wear the Supreme shirts. They don't wear anything hype. They don't even wear the rap tees. They were like, Earth Day, 2014. <laughs> yeah. They were like, oh, fun run, whatever. They wear the wackest shit. The one dude, Chris, Chris Russo, yeah. he wears like a t-shirt with like Johann Sebastian Bach on it. <laughs> <coughs> the guy, Luke, like somebody asked him once, like, dude, how many sneakers do you have? He's like, I don't know, probably like 14 pairs. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't even like, yo, dude, I got everything. I'm a hype. I'm hype. I'm hype. Because... I, I guess that's the cycle of it all. Like once once being cool becomes cool. <clears throat> becoming becoming cool gets old. Yeah, dude. It's it's, cool, it's tiring. Yeah, it's tiring. It's trying to be too cool all the time. Yeah. I think we're being too cool right now. Oh, fuck. fuck, man. Why are we why are we <laughs> analyzing why, this? Why are you too cool, stupid. dude? Cut this, this shit dumb. out, man. This is dumb. This is dumb. Why, why, are, we being, talk why are we being too cool? <laughs> dude, do you watch Terrace House? Yep. For, did you, sure. Did you watch the last season? The the one with like the one uh, with the um white guy the animator yeah yeah Pepe Pepe yeah and also the cute was she Russian the oh yeah Vivi Vivi cute so cute dude did you see that one guy there Kai Kobayashi the guy who was trying to be a stand up comedian oh dude horrible the, the worst <laughs> stand up comedian I've ever seen oh, horrible. like that's like me trying to be like a high fashion model it's wow it was, it was terrible like I couldn't even watch it. I had to fast forward through it and it's like it was painful to it watch. was painful like there was the the his last set it looked like he was going to cry <laughs> i thought he was going to cry <laughs> dude his his set was so hateful <laughs> <laughs> like there's a way to do it where it's funny right yeah but he, <laughs> it, it was just so hateful to was, japanese businessmen <laughs> it was just it was terrible S- salary men that's what yeah, they call it yeah salary men it was so hateful and it's like Where's the joke, dude? There was no joke. Oh God! It was. T- it was. It was. It did, he came- say, did he say something like, "I'm just gonna kill myself" or something like that? Yeah. He no, no. He said like, one, in one of his sets, his opening joke was, um, "Yeah, so it's the year 2020 now, and my mom um, told me that I should stop being so emotional." And then he turned around, and almost cried, <laughs> <laughs> and then he didn't even finish the joke. Then he went to a joke about strawberries. Not oh being God. a berry and not being straws. <laughs> Yo, that's I think that's one of the hackiest things. Like, what's up with strawberries? <laughs> they're neither straws nor berries. They're berries. You know what? Uh, <laughs> Give me a Netflix special. Dude. It was Honestly, pa- like it was I, painful to watch. It was super painful because like if you're gonna try something got to be at least a little bit good at it Dude. like there, has, there, there is that's there what must, i've been saying about switching lanes yeah, there must have been one dumbass per, like oh my god didn't his friends even say like ah, i'm gonna start stand-up comedy and one of his friends see like no bro right i don't know and that goes back to uh, friends being mean to each other yeah you got to lay down the law like, for example for example if we gassed up jason and brent and we're like yo Sick dancers, dude. Y'all are sick. You, you you could keep dancing. That would do nothing for them. Yeah. But just the fact that we kept making fun of them, look at them now. Not was, dancing. <laughs> but successful in other fa- yeah. facets of life. Yeah. Just not dancing. Just because not dancing. You know, you just lay down so the that's law. not your lane. You know what I mean? It's like 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 when we tried to be fitness <laughs> <laughs> fitness gurus. And somebody was like, eh, I don't know about that I don't one. I know about that, bro. I don't know about that. Like Speaking of fitness gurus, have you watched that um, Bikram documentary? No. 
okay, I didn't watch it either. <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell would I watch a bit? But, but apparently, he was a fucking sexual predator, and yeah. like it was, it was sort of like a cult, like a the whole yoga Bikram yoga thing. Yeah, it was like a cult. So he could get so, chicks. Yeah, dude. In, in the documentary, I I, I heard like, I I've seen reviews of it. He apparently he was like a sexual predator, and how come? How come his practice isn't canceled? It's not. It's not. People are still doing Bikram yoga. People need their yoga. Yeah, but look, how come a lot of people are like, "Yo, I don't want to listen to R. Kelly anymore," or like, "Dude, we," you know, as a DJ before this lockdown um happened, we were we we I was spinning. People would come up to me offended that I played um. Remix the ignition. Yeah, the, one of the best club songs yeah. <laughs> ever. Remix the ignition. Now usually I don't do this, but uh, <laughs> dude, that's the greatest drop ever. Like I could scratch that in, and people would go crazy, <laughs> right? And then literally, really? people came up yeah. to you during your set, be like, "Bro, I'm kind of a." It's like you. really R. Kelly. Yeah, and I was like, I get it. No, like they literally would come up to you yeah. during the set or yeah. while you're playing. I'm while, kind while of offended. Playing. Then you should be like. Right, let me play this next time. P- play like put it in your mouth by Akinelli or something like that. <laughs> but then the song's offensive, right? Yeah. Akinelli, put it in your mouth yeah. and your but motherfucking then, but then, like, mouth. Oh, this is so much better, right? Well, you can lick it, you can stick it, you can taste it. Great song, by the way. Oh, fantastic song. <laughs> fantastic song. Yeah. One hit wonder. Fantastic. <laughs> oh song. yeah, Akinelli. At least he he has a legacy now, right? Going back to uh, being offended. How come offensive songs are okay? But then when you're offended by the artist who did the song, it's not okay. Right? Yeah. Where, where, where do you draw the line? Like, what, what really is offensive to you, though? You know what? Here's the funny thing about R. Kelly, right? When There's nothing Ign- funny about <laughs> R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> when, Ignition, when Ignition the Remix came out, yeah. people already knew he was peeing on these girls. That's and shit. true. It wasn't like a hidden, it wasn't like a big secret that it was like a big expose that That's came true. out. That's true. People knew. And it wasn't a secret that he was grooming Aaliyah. Yeah. Like he made people, Aaliyah his girlfriend. It dude, wasn't a secret. It was 1999 and he would ma- and he was trying to marry Aaliyah when right. she was and, 16. And all of a sudden now we're like, now we're like, oh, what the oh, fuck? Kelly. Or Kelly. Just because it's a documentary. You should have been like, like next time somebody comes up to you, be like, motherfucker, I have a picture from you, of a picture of you from 2005 where you're dancing to that in Temple. Right? Yeah. So it's like, where do you draw the line? Be like, we're going to, we're going to tear down your statue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? It's like, people, people are so offended nowadays. Yeah. Well, you know, it's because everybody's just offending everybody. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm so offended by TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. We're back to TikTok again. God damn it. <laughs> But like, yeah, you know what? It's it's tiring to be offended. Yeah, it's tiring. Everything's just tiring now. There's just too much fucking sensory overload with like everything in the world right now. It's, the world is tiring, basically. Just <laughs> information. Dude, we sound like old men again. Yeah, fuck that. Oh, it's tiring. <laughs> I, tr- I tried to hear it away Nick, with that terrace Nick. house. You know, back in the day. Hey. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't even think of anything to talk about. <laughs> Back in the day, we used to dance to R. Kelly. No man. All I had to do back in the day was come up with great lyrics like Mbop. <laughs> mbop, mbop, mbop. But you you know you know who who has stood his ground and like people are still playing his shit? Who? Michael Jackson. Yeah, of course. But then people knew about Neverland. People knew he was like into diddling little boys. <laughs> you know how there's, you know how there's, if there's smoke, there's fire. But you know what the only difference is? There is no documentary about it. Yeah, th- there is. Finding Neverland. Isn't that like a Disney movie? No. Finding Neverland? Isn't that like the movie about Walt Disney? <laughs> is it? I don't know. That's why we have laptops here. Is your, is your networking? No, but so. like, there's, there, there was a documentary recently about Michael Jackson. About him. About him and his little boy business. Really? Yeah. I never even heard about that. Maybe because it was only one part. Not like a miniseries like uh, R. Kelly's. Michael Jackson. Oh, not Finding Neverland. Leaving Neverland. (laughs) Finding (laughs) Neverland. First you find it. (laughs) And then you leave it. Finding Neverland was like the biopic of Walt Disney. I think so. 
Let me say, Finding Neverland. Finding Neverland is what happened if you were a cute kid in the Mickey yeah. Mouse Club. Finding Neverland is a 2004 historical fantasy drama film directed by Mark Foster. The film is about playwright J.M. Ba- oh, Finding Neverland, the, the writer of Peter Pan. Ah. <laughs> so there's, there's one called Leaving Neverland. I never even heard about it. Maybe it sucked. Yeah, because pe- so a lot of people were defending it as well. Yeah. But then it's like, how, how, do, how does Michael get a pass? Because he's shitty. dead? That's true, he's dead. But his art, though, like, it, do you agree with like separating the person from the art? Or the, the person from their contribution to society? Uh, in some cases. Uh, uh, it's hard. It's so hard, to, it's so hard to quantify that. Right? It's, you know what I mean? It's, it's like a case-to-case <clears throat> basis, right? Yeah. So like with the arts... I'm pretty sure a lot of like um painters yeah like had issues or whatever yeah like they probably raped someone I don't know who yeah. but like but then you still appreciate their paintings yeah or for example like philosophers back in the day yeah dude the greeks they liked fucking little boys all the time all the time that was yeah. the thing you know but then we we still we still appreciate their their poetry or, their their ph- philosophy or the spartans yeah, they would they would fuck these little boys all the time. Yet people love the movie Three Hundred. Yeah. Nobody's saying like, "Oh, damn, this movie." Yeah, right. So offended by those six I pack. I hate this movie so much. <laughs> Xerxes, <laughs> Xerxes Dude. was the good guy. Dude, Xerxes was the good guy. Xerxes was the good guy. Xerxes was freeing these children. Dude, Xerxes was progressive. He was. Xerxes He's, was kind of gay. He was liberal. Because like he was into like, like oh yeah, yo, yo Nick, remember how how did the Xerxes walk? <laughs> I am a be- benevolent guy. <laughs> Xerxes was the good guy. He was the good guy, dude. Oh my god, the the Spartans were the ones who were like trapping these boys and and throwing the, them out to the woods. The Spartans, the Spartans were like, no new ideas. No foreign influence. No immigrants. <laughs> no immigrants. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to send these boys out to the forest and they can fend for themselves. And if they can survive, we're going to fuck them. No immigrants. Dude. No immigrants. And then Xerxes comes in and says like, I am bringing an influx of all these Mexicans and right. Latin Americans I'm, I'm and bringing, Filipino nurses. I, <laughs> I'm bringing an influx of Ideas and spices and, and technology and this floating caravan that's <laughs> being carried and this and this and this impossibly heavy caravan. <laughs> this impossible. <laughs> Look at my. Why, why are we <laughs> like this? Look at my piercings. <laughs> I'm going to show I, you. I a bring nuance. you. I bring you gold, <laughs> incense. And myrrh. Frankincense. Frankincense. And myrrh. And myrrh. Just like the three kings who worship your god. <laughs> and, then the, and then these Republican ass uh, Spartans were like, oh, hell no, you the, ain't coming to our Gre- town. Greeks, Greeks had a republic, right? Yeah. Uh, oh my god. Yo, if you were a I'm liberal. I'm so offended by 300. I'm so offended by it. 300 is the most offending movie I've and ever you, seen. And you know what's so offensive about yeah. Fucking 300? What? Dude, you know what's so offensive about 300? What? Like, how come fat people aren't represented? That's true. Because they killed them. <laughs> because Spartans, they're like, you, they're like, you fat ass. We're going to throw you, we're going to kick you in this pit. Right? If, 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 you're, if you're a fat ass and can't run away Yo, from You know the why wolf? I'm offended by the movie 300? Because Gerald Butler <laughs> is fucking Australian. And he's playing a Spartan. Can't, couldn't they find somebody Greek to play him? They, I mean, that's true. Ya- Giannis Antetokounmpo <laughs> was available. Giannis, Giannis or his brother. Yeah, or the, his other bro- the, other, the other Antetokounmpo. Yeah. Oh my lord! Right? Who else it's is? Like, it's like, who else oh, is? Like, I can imagine the casting. In, I can imagine the casting in, in Hollywood. They're like, they're like, oh, so who should we get to play the lead Spartan? We should get somebody Greek. They're like, no, 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 no. Let's let's get this guy draw a butler. <laughs> and they're like, they're like, no, 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 no. Why can't we? And then some, some, some young dude, progressive dude, is like, can't we use Giannis Antetokounmpo? And they're like, what are we making, blood diamond? No, he, no he's like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, yo, I, I discovered this really fit young 
Greek guy. And he's tall, like he's, he's tall, muscular. Like really lean. Yeah. Like I think really represents what a warrior should look like. Yeah. His name is Giannis Antetokounmpo and he's in high school. <laughs> we should we should totally cast him. And they're like, and no. they're like, um, what is this? Amistad? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, right? You're fucked up. And that's just Hollywood though. That's Hollywood they're fucked though. up. Don't, like, don't no, get no, mad no. at me. That's Hollywood. We need, to get this Aus- we need to get this Australian guy. Yeah. And we're going to put him in there because he's standing up for what's oh. right. Freedom to carry weapons and pre- defend your <laughs> home. They don't even have weapons in Australia. <laughs> Did you know that? But the Spartans had weapons. That's, <laughs> That's spears. The right to carry arms. Dude. God damn it. Xerxes was the Xerxes fucking. Xerxes was the fucking good guy. Immigrants. Yo, this, why, why is our podcast so woke today? <laughs> Cause I'm so offended. <laughs> I'm so woke because of the Starbucks coffee, I, and I, I, I'm I'm willing to give up Starbucks if some other coffee if another true. coffee company that's was true. sponsor us. What's your What's your favorite coffee company? Toby's Estate. Oh, dude, Toby's Estate is fire. Toby's Estate is really good for your coffee needs and your brownie uh, selection. They're not brownies. They're Bucky's. Oh, Bucky's. Come on, bro. I bet. Do you know that Toby's Estate is an Australian company? Yeah, it is. Home of Gerard, Gerard Butler. Butler. Is Gerard Butler Australian? Maybe I'm, maybe he's <laughs> not. He? I don't know. <laughs> this, We've been saying he was Australian. Gerard? I, I was thinking of Russell Crowe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's probably not. <laughs> Nationality. Oh, God. Oh. Is he Australian? He's British. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But, dude, it's, it's they fine. Look, they all uh, look alike anyway. Uh, it's fine, dude. Australians are the... British criminals anyway. Australia is a large Alcatraz. That's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? If you're offended by us Australians, mate, you probably know your history and you're not going to be offended. Yeah, Maccas. 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 They, they have a thing for like shortening the words, right? Yeah. Because they're just lazy on Australia. <laughs> they're like the Mexicans. Of <laughs> England. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. So oh my bad. God. I'm this kidding. is so offensive, dude. This- like this, look, uh, look at this cultural appropriation of a teapot here, dude. Okay, Chinese culture. That's Chinese culture. No, no, no. This is a British teapot. It's not. Tea is from China. Yeah, but look at this teapot. Does this look like a Ming Dynasty, like a, <laughs> a teapot? No, this is a um, this is that fire teapot. <laughs> it's a teapot. It's a teapot. It's a go. Whoa, whoa, go on. <laughs> whoa, go on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear, by the end of this podcast, this whole. By episode 20, I should have a proper British accent. You should have a proper grime accent. Yeah, yeah. Yo, because the, this teapot, you know what this teapot looks like? Big up. <laughs> Big this, up teapot. This looks like teapot tings. <laughs> this. Tea. Well, go on, tea time. <laughs> Fuck, man. Yo, and tea. I got And I got British friends, too. They're going to fucking... They're going to eat you alive. Dude, they're going to they're gonna be offended. Yeah, they're going to be like, because this isn't a British teapot. You know why? You ever see the movie Beauty and the Beast? Teapot, yeah. Mrs. Teapot looks like this. Right? No, no, it wasn't. Yeah, it does. She's she just was white. white. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is blue. Dude. My bad. Come on, man. My Beauty bad. and the Beast, though. He, here's the thing. Oh my God, is that is that a ra- is here's that like a thing, racist dude. movie? Dude, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Why does the Beast, right? Yeah. Have to be brown. Yeah. Why can't he have like white hair? Aren't there like white lions or something? Yeah, Aren't there oh white my beasts? Oh my! But why do we love white animals so much? Oh my God! Look at this white right? tiger. Right. <gasps> Why do I hate myself? Why are we self-hating brown people? Why do you love white shoes so much, you neo-Nazi? Oh, God. Fuck. Oh, my God. You are you used to dress like a neo-Nazi. Now you only like white shoes. White supremacist. Why do you hate yourself so much? Why do I loathe myself so much? Yeah. Maybe oh, that's God. why you're tired. You're not tired from being cool. You're tired from hating yourself. Damn, dude. Woke. You, you know why I'm tired? Hmm. Cause I don't have sleep, cause I'm too woke, <laughs> dude. We cracked it. We cracked the code. We cracked the code. Basically, Remember? everything's offensive. Yeah, everything's offensive. Man. I can make anything offensive, dude. Let's let's try to be offensive right now. No, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you want you want to know what's fucked up? Okay, this shirt right that I'm wearing, right? Japanese brand. Mm-hmm. Look, what's what's written on my shirt right now? Beams. Beams. What what language is beams in? <laughs> English. Yo, why are they even like hopping onto the using English to sell clothes? Right. Why, why couldn't they name it like like why don't Mitsukoshi they, or something like why that? Don't, also, why don't they use their 
Asian hieroglyphics. Yeah. Why? why? <laughs> hieroglyphics. Hate, I'm so mad. Why am I even speaking English right now? Dude. Why can't we do this podcast in Tagalog? Also, also, what's up with your, what's up with your Boston hat, bro? Oh my God. That's an American city. Why can't yeah. I wear like this B can't, why, why can't be Batangas? Why, dude, <laughs> why, why can't that be Batangas, dude? Or, or Bolinao. <laughs> Yo, why is your hair so curly? Or Boracay, bro. That should totally be a Boracay hat. It should be. Why aren't... Also, also, why are you representing an American city when you could totally wear three stars in the sun? You, you know what, Nick? Fuck your feelings. Yo, 